welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here in all of my naturalness, bringing you this forcey juiciness. Ah! I feel like this video is going to be all over the place. I'm just gonna warn you <laughs> right now because I just I just feel like talking. It's been a while since we we had a whole full hair update. So I'm really, really excited and let's get to it. So this is the fourth month of the protective style challenge if you are participating. I know a lot of you done fell off the wagon. You know what? I'm not even gonna lecture you on this video, but just know I'm watching y'all. We only have two more months left and let me tell you something. I feel like my hair is coming back to life. Like, you know how last year I've complained the entire year that I felt like my hair was thinning and this and that. I was just complaining, complaining, womp, womp, womp. Well, I really feel like this year it's turned back around. My hair feels so much thicker. Well, first of all, let me tell you something. If I was trying to get my hair like this, it would never cooperate. But just because this isn't technically a hairstyle, I just washed my hair and let it out. And look at it. It's looking fabulous, honey. You can't even tell me nothing. And if you do see some white residue, it is from my shea butter because I don't even have gel in my hair. It's just, I wash my hair, leave-in conditioner, shea butter, boom, look at it. So I'm just really loving my hair now, except for this one little area in the middle where I am still working on. But other than that, my hair is doing amazing. I feel like it's growing. Um, for the past month, let me tell you what I've done. You guys know I've been sort of wearing wigs and getting into that lifestyle. <laughs> So last month, I basically just braided my hair straight back. And between you and I, I may have left it in a little bit too long. Um, I basically left them in for, I want to say six weeks, like all of January. And I took them out just yesterday. So I had them on for a long time. The back of my hair started to get matted up. And I was like, you know what? I really need to take this off. But it was so easy. Honestly, all I did the entire six weeks is wake up in the morning, pop one in hat and go. And if I had somewhere to go over the weekends, then I will wear my wigs or something. And I could wash my hair. It was so easy to moisturize and it was super easy to get to my scalp. So I think I'm gonna do this again. It was just too easy for me to be able to handle at this point. <laughs> so now that I've taken off my braids, I was actually sent the Sunny Owl Jamaican Castor Oil line to do a review and that's including their relaxers and I'm just thinking, what? And I've been using them when my hair was braided but I really wanted to make sure that I used them once my hair was out to really see how I feel about the products and they're alright. Um, the shampoo really isn't my favorite, I feel like it really strips my hair. Um, the conditioner is, is alright, it's too light for my hair, it's something that I will use for co-washing which I did use last month for that. It, it's very, very light and my hair doesn't really do well with light products. It likes thick, greasy stuff. So the conditioner didn't do it for me either. Their leave-in was also all right. I don't find it to have any slip, so I wouldn't use it as a detangler, although it says that you can use it as a detangler. No slip at all. But I did love their Jamaican black castor oil. You guys already know, I love Jamaican black castor oil. I love oils in general. I think I mentioned this in my favorites video. Yeah, it's just Jamaican black castor oil. What else that I use in the line? Oh, and another thing that I love is actually their edge control. Back when I used gels, um, I honestly didn't find anything that I liked. I did use the, I believe it was organic olive oil line. <laughs> I'll look. I'll look up the name and put it somewhere over here. And I hated it. It was really thick. It was flaky. It, it just left this white residue. It just wasn't pretty. But this, I really, really love. Like, it lays down my edges. And what I like about it is that it's not flaky. It's not really hard. I don't feel like I have to wash my hair afterwards. So I really actually like this. And the oil. Those were my favorite from the out. Everything else, eh. But if you are interested, the good thing about these products, which is the reason why I wanted to mention them, is that they are readily available in Walmart here in Canada. So that's pretty good because you guys know us Canadian um, naturals, it's hard to get products here, man. Like, it's not as easy as it is in the States and shipping is expensive. So I am actually pretty happy that I can pick up my Jamaican black castor oil right here in Walmart and I don't have to harass my mom for Haitian black castor oil. So once I took out my braids, I made sure I gave myself a nice, good pre-poo with coconut oil. I mean, 
I have been saying this for years, pre-poo, well, you have to pre-poo, man. Like, it's so good for your hair and it prevents your shampoo from stripping your hair, especially if you're using a stripping shampoo. Uh, and it's amazing. And then I follow up with shampoo, I deep condition, because you guys know I have and have and have to deep condition. And then put on a leave-in conditioner, put on my shea butter, boom. Look at this juicy, okay, yes, yes. Ah, you can look. My hair is still wet. It hasn't dried up yet and I have shea butter all in it, which is why it looks, I have those white residue. Um, but I, I was just so excited to come in here and show you and I'm not about to let my hair dry this way. So <laughs> I think I'm going to braid it back up like straight cornrows and do the same thing for another month because it's just, it was just too easy. So I am starting to get addicted to these weeks, man. Like now I see why people use the mask protective styles because there's just so easy if I can get my hand on a really good natural hair looking wig my life will be complete I ask you guys on Instagram and Facebook to send me some updated pictures of your hair so I could put in this video and of course no one sent me no pictures and whatever you know what I am mad at you guys mm -mm. I thought we were like this I thought we were friends and then you guys just drop me like a bag of laundry. <laughs> Whatever. But you know what? My hair is doing amazing. So if you fell off the wagon, um, yeah, you better get back on because look at this. Look, you, psh, girl. Okay, okay. Look at this shrinkage and this growth I'm, I'm dealing with. You, do you guys see this? Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how your hair is doing below. Let's just talk. I like talking to you guys. I always, always reply to my comments if you guys don't notice. At least I want to say 95% of the time I try to reply. I literally take time of my day to reply because I like talking to you guys. So say something below. Say hi. Have a good week and I will see you when I see you.